Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's another Cadence one. I am going to be showing you how to link MailerLite to your Cadence WordPress website. So of course, you're gonna have to have a WordPress website with the Cadence theme and the Cadence Blocks plugin installed. And then you're also going to have to have a MailerLite account. Now you can sign up for a free account. All you need to do is go to MailerLite.com and click on the sign up button at the top right here. Now, once you sign up, all you're going to do is you're going to click log in and then you're going to log in to your account. Okay. So I've logged into my account. Now I'm going to go over to my WordPress website and I'm going to add a new page. And on that page, I'm going to add the form block from Cadence. Three ways to add the form block. You can either come to the right hand side, click the plus icon there. You can come up to the top here, click the toggle or block inserter, and then insert the form by clicking here or the third way is just to type forward slash and then type in form and click on the form block that will then add the form block to your page or your post and then you can link it to your MailerLite account now to add it to your MailerLite account what you're going to do is come to the right hand side here click on this actions after submit and click the drop down arrow then what you're going to do is click this checkbox that says MailerLite once you do that you can close this and then you will see a mailer light settings at the bottom so you'll click that that will then open it and what it says is you need to get your api key from mailer light so you can either click on this that's then going to open in another tab and it's going to open up your API section on your MailerLite account. Now, just as reference to get to this page, all you need to do is be on your dashboard in MailerLite and then come to integrations here on the left-hand side. Once you're here, you're going to click on use next to API and this is when you can generate a new token. So we're gonna click generate new token. We're gonna give our token a name. So we're gonna call this website. And then I'm going to tick this checkbox that says I have read and understood the terms of use. And I'm gonna click create token. Once I have clicked create token, then I am going to copy this. And just a note, you need to copy this and save it somewhere because they cannot show it to you again. So I've copied that. And then I'm going to come back to my Cadence WordPress website and I am going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to click save. Once I click save, this is where I can select a group to add the specific email address and information to. So I can click on this drop down and then I can add it to a group. So let's say free website guide. And then what I need to do is map my fields. So if someone puts in a name, I need to map that to a specific field. So I'll do name here, email and message. There's nothing really that that maps to. So I don't need to map that. So generally, when you have an opt-in, it's usually just name and email. There's not usually message. This is usually for a contact form on your contact page. Okay, and there we go. We have added MailerLite to our Cadence WordPress website using MailerLite, the Cadence theme, and the Cadence Blocks plugin. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos on using Cadence. I've got loads of videos that explain how to use Cadence to create an amazing website for your business.